Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Truth My Q&A series on my channel where you can ask me anything about Lego, Lego Star Wars, Star Wars, or anything about myself. Thank y'all for joining with me today and I have some big things we need to talk about. First of all is the giveaway announcement. So yes, I'm doing a three clone trooper giveaway for me hitting 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much guys for the awesome support I've had on my channel thus recently. But first let's get down to the first giveaway winner. Now I'm just going to be announcing one right now and I'm announcing the other two throughout the video. Now drum roll, please. The first one we have here for the first winner of the giveaway is a uh, stove roto. I hope I said that correctly. And he says he wants the Camino security clone trooper. So I'll be getting your information and sending off this clone trooper right here to you thank you so much for joining the giveaway and the next two winners will be announced throughout the video so stay tuned now the first question actually comes from uh, concordial eclipse he says love the answers i am liking the series so far all the unlimited power to you nice i like that very, very good touch there now he says question in what way would all separatist droid set or battle pack be a good inclusion in a wave or the overall theme of that wave Personally, I love some more CIS sets as my collection is really lacking in that department. But yeah, there's definitely a lack of overall uh, sets just based off of like CIS, se droids, separatists, like ships and vehicles. I know we have the AAT out right now. That's about it. But other than that, it's kind of been lacking, at least in like a droid battle pack sense. I would absolutely love a droid battle pack coming up in 2023 they have been just kind of sprinkling battle droids in all the sets it's giving you two here two there like in all the little clone trooper sets just kind of slowly a master droid army but we definitely need like a battle pack with at least like three or four battle droids super battle droids to come back again i think they might redesign the super battle droids so that would be really awesome and maybe like a spider droid or even better a crab droid since they forgot to put that in the atte set so i think that would be a perfect thing and maybe like a stap too a crab droid a stap a few battle droids a few super battle droids maybe like one commando battle droid that'd be sweet now speaking of battle packs this question comes from sudden brick productions he said if lego were to create a new imperial battle pack what would you want it to contain now a new imperial battle pack this is a really interesting question first of all i think of course i just want some regular stormtroopers because of course you need more stormtroopers in the battle pack maybe like two regular stormtroopers now the interesting question is would they redesign the stormtrooper because I, I like the new stormtrooper design they use but the kind of the really ultra detailed but it's not my absolute favorite. I wish like if they could like have like the same like really ultra like uh, like dual molded uh, concept for the helmet, but kind of redesign it a little bit to look more accurate because it kind of looks a little wonky at moments. Uh, but two storm regular stormtroopers, probably one scout trooper and a shore trooper. I think that'd be like my ideal kind of like mass trooper imperial battle pack. But I'm sure y'all have different opinions down below. Probably y'all want some death troopers. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Some like range troopers or some min band troopers. That would be pretty sweet. But I think. Yeah, two stormtroopers, a scout trooper, and a scarif trooper. The next question comes from Matthew Lee. He says, congrats on 10K. Thanks, man. Um, if there was a new accessory pack that included any three named Jedi, what would you want included? Hmm, this one's quite interesting. If they ever did an accessory pack for Jedi, I would want some uh, Jedi that we haven't really gotten for in a while with kind of updated molds of their previous counterparts so i wouldn't want like a new uh saucy tin i think that'd be really dope a new version of him maybe like a new mold or use uh make him more of a live action version than rather than the clone wars and maybe an also updated mold for kit fisto kit fisto is pretty dope so getting a new kind of headpiece for him kind of in the uh, live action style as well as a new Plo Koon. I think that would be really dope as well uh, since we haven't gotten those figures in quite some time and those are some of my favorite Jedi, especially if you get that saucy tin kind of in that OG uh, animated Clone Wars with the kind of armor uh, ma a mask or like the clone kind of armor mask coming over his helmet. I know that's not canon, but it'd be pretty dope nonetheless since they are adding Legends content like the 187th Clone Trooper, so anything can happen. Now, time for our next giveaway winner. So the next giveaway winner is Lord Kermit. Now he said he really wants the Shock Trooper. So we got the new phase two kind of custom Shock Trooper here. He'll be winning that. And keep in mind, I'll be doing way more giveaways in the future. I have a lot of things I think y'all really enjoy for custom clone troopers and elements. So if you didn't win this time, definitely do more in the future that you have a possible chance to win. But thank you, Lord Kermit. You'll be getting that shock trooper. And the next question comes from Ozzy the Ozzy. 
Uh, very nice. <laughs> Love the videos, man. Keep up the great work. Uh, question. I think that a Geonosis clone scout trooper would be cool. Like the ones we saw at landing a point rain and what sport teams do you follow, if any? So we got two different kind of questions there, kind of wide variety of differences. Uh, but the clone scout trooper, I think he's talking about the clone ARF trooper that we do see in the Clone Wars and specifically the battle, the second battle of Geonosis. And absolutely, I would love that picture. I actually probably, if I if ever released a clone uh, ARF trooper with that camouflage orange uh, color scheme, I would 100% do another Geonosis mock, like a second battle of Geonosis for sure. I think that'd be so dope. Since they already have an ARF trooper or ARF trooper mold with the other two variants they put out uh, like a long time ago with the Clone Wars. Absolutely would love that 100%. Other question he had was what sports teams do I follow? Now I'm a massive basketball fan. I played it in high school and I really love still playing it today. Um, I would say definitely the Dallas Mavericks has been my team since day one. Always followed them. Dallas Mavericks basketball team in the NBA. Uh, love uh, Dirk Nowitzki. He's my favorite basketball player. And now of course we got Luka Doncic, beast of a player. And I think we have a solid team this year. And of course we went to the Western Conference Finals, but y'all don't really care about that. Let's move on to the next question. The next question comes from uh, Kuro, Kurosh uh, Karami. Forgive me if I said that wrong. With the AAT or tying in December, what are the chances that LEGO is going to make a new Separatist vehicle in to rival the ATT and Republic fighter tank? Thank you for the question. Now, oh, a new Separatist vehicle after the AAT retiring here soon, I bet like probably even sooner than December since they're retiring the file first battle pack and the AT like right now from Lego.com. I would say, what's the next one? I think the next one we definitely need is a brand new and improved. I know this is the OG version. I don't have the other one right now. A droid snail tank, uh, or this regular droid tank. Oh gosh, that's dusty. I gotta clean my shelves. Um, yeah, I definitely, I want like a new like 20 the $30 droid uh tank droid snail tank i think that'd be super dope it's one of my favorite uh vehicles from the droid army even though we do only get a quick appearance of them in the battle kashik but if, if we did that i would definitely love like some uh kashik troopers in there as well with it and like some other like battle droids kind of make it a semi maybe like a 501st legion battle pack but like droid like flip it we have like the droid snail tank as the main vehicle and like a few battle droids super battle droids be two of these kashik troopers i think that'd be really awesome now the next question comes from max 2016 do you think lego will ever make an official echo before the bad batch or arc trooper fives now with making a um, Lego clone troopers, I think anything is possible now with, especially with Can especially with Commander Cody coming out, even though these figures are much less, uh, much more obscure, I would say, but I still think they could come out with something, especially since the 2023 clone uh, specialist battle pack is gonna be adding a lot of different variants of 501st clone troopers. Definitely see them adding like an Echo or a Fives in a future set to go perfectly with all the new 501st clone troopers they've been putting out. Now, next question comes from Tom Rowe. Any tips for a first time mock builder? I'd like to make a clone one, but I don't really know where to start. Now, okay, yeah, for a tip for being like a first time mock builder, I would say build something that is definitely gonna be in your range of like how big you want it. Cause you don't wanna make it giant. Cause I've definitely been in that position where I made it way too big and it just kind of, you kind of get down on it and you just stop it and you don't really get it finished to its full potential. Definitely start with like a good, maybe like a, a little green base plate size mock and do something that you're really passionate about. Like if there's like a favorite scene you have from like the Clone Wars or maybe from the prequels of clones, try to make that in Lego and try to do it like from your best ability of what figures you have and the pieces. I think just bring that all together and just try to have some fun with it, man. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see how your first mock goes. Now the next question is, what is YouTube? Very nice, what a username. Uh, this comment uh, is a question for your next episode. If you could choose any clone captain or commander made officially in Lego, what uh who would you choose i would choose captain fordo now that's a great choice by the way captain fordo sick clone trooper especially on that scene that you see in the uh, again with the og clone wars uh show of him fighting on the bridge just taking out all those super battle droids one of the sickest scenes ever for a clone trooper but a clone commander or captain or something like that i wouldn't want to bring into lego i would definitely choose commander Bly. i think the 327th troopers are long overdue to come in lego star wars i really think they could do that with the new uh, little hole helmets they have in the phase two design with the micro binoculars and such with the comma and the uh the waist cape i think they could also make the the regular Runt Troopers for the 327th. I think that'd be really nice because those 
Snow Troopers are like a must to make a Felucia mock. If they came out with those, 100% would be doing a Felucia mock next because I've been like looking at doing that in the future. This is quite interesting of like all the plants and the different colors you could use in that mock. It'd be really creative, but definitely I think Commander Bly. Now, next question comes from Captain Bricks uh, 001. What is your favorite upcoming 2023 Lego Star Wars set besides the Fire First Battle Pack? Now, my favorite one that we have rumored so far, I would say the um, the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. That set sounds so amazing, mainly because that TIE Interceptor and what other figures they could include from the Mandalorian Season 3. And also, if I have another choice, I would do the TIE Bomber coming out. Uh, as well that that one's going to come a little sooner in january because they haven't made either of those tie fighters in forever so it's nice to see that they're actually coming back officially in lego star wars especially if that if that type bomber comes with um grand animal sloan that would be quite interesting but yeah i think the mandalorian versus uh tie interceptor set the next question is from apple nani is there anyone from the lego Star Wars community who inspired you to start making videos and do you wish to collab with uh, said creators Congratulations on 10K. Now, definitely, I've been like watching and kind of a part of the Lego Star Wars community um, with before, way before I started this YouTube channel. I would say um, from a base, uh, I think if y'all don't know who Eckhart, Eckhart's Lauder is, he does like a just regular Star Wars lore videos. I love his channel. I watch it all the time. And I basically wanted to be that, but for Lego Star Wars, like getting in depth and like talk about lore of it and like basically like a Lego Star Wars twist on that. He kind of inspired me to make my initial channel and of course with all the Lego channels out there, of course I was watching Solid Brick Studios for a while. Um, he kind of got me into like for collecting, but I would love to collab with anyone in the Lego Star Wars community, really like especially like some like smaller creators and stuff like that, that kind of get like a, a really nice community going. And if any uh, YouTuber out there who wants to collab or something like that, I would love to do uh, any kind of like live streams or shows or a podcast, whatever you want to do, I would uh, love to get to know y'all. Now I won't let y'all wait any longer, the next and the final giveaway winner. Now this one is actually chosen by my girlfriend, so Whoever wins this, be very thankful because I was like, yeah, I, I'll pick the, I'll pick two and then you pick the other one. Now the next winner is Maya Squirrel Hernandez. I hope I said that right. Now she asked for Jesse. Now you will be getting this custom Lego Star Wars Jesse figure. It's really cool. And again, thank you so much for joining the giveaway. And everyone else who didn't win, keep your heads up. I'll be giving more away soon. Thank you all for everyone who joined the giveaway. Now back to the questions. The next question comes from Commando. He says, you said you still play Battlefront 2. So what is your favorite character the main? Now my favorite character, I would say, I um I usually for like just regular troopers I use assault that's my main go to but I definitely been using a lot of specialists lately because I've been hitting those snipes been going crazy with that um and, but for like light side heroes I usually go I usually go either Luke Anakin or Han because I'm I'm kind of a, a beast with Han I'm not gonna lie um I kind of do I'm annoying I do the little spin I shoot spin shoot spin kind of thing um. But for, uh, I guess, the Jedi, the Jedi, I usually use um, Luke because I love the force push everyone off like <laughs> cliffs and stuff. <laughs> That's really awesome. But for the villains, I would say I mainly use Bosk because I love how he can regen all his health back up. And you can be such, you can be such a like an like annoyance on like regular game modes, like a Galactic Assault or Supremacy with Bosk. You can like clear out whole rooms with his stink bomb and his bombs and his other, all this other stuff. But for lightsaber characters, I probably use Darth Vader because he's you know, he's the most OP and you can definitely take out so many people with Darth Vader. So yeah, those are probably it. And the next question is from uh, Izarde uh, Bruin. Um, try, forgive me if I said that wrong. Would you like to have about 44 clone troopers not camo? I want that. So he's talking about the uh, the clone troopers as you see uh, in a quick little scene in Revenge of the Sith. They're basically white uh, phase two clone troopers, but with kind of like gray accents on them. You can't really tell too much, but they have like gray on their shoulders and gray on their like body and stuff like that. Kind of a lighter gray. But definitely, I would 100% down for new clone legions in Lego. I think that'd be super dope and kind of give a variant to the uh, other kind of clone troopers like you could have these guys around and like changing the outfits into like the regular uniform I think that'd be really cool. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for the truth episode 3 I hope y'all enjoyed me answering any of your questions if you have any more questions uh, Just let me know down below and I'll answer them in the next video. Hope you all have a great day. Peace out guys